friends today i am going to tell you a panchatantra story named the brahmin and the three thieves in a village there lived a poor brahmin priest he was devoted sincere and very superstitious he often went out to other villages to perform religious ceremonies he sustained his family through the gifts and dakshinas which he got by performing the rituals one day the brahmin was invited to a neighboring village to worship in the house of a rich landlord he had to walk through a lonely path to reach that village finally he reached the village and the brahmin performed the rituals in the landlord's house The rich landlord was pleased with his performance and hence gave him in return a healthy fat goat as dakshina Brahmin dev please accept this goat as a token of appreciation The brahmin blessed him and felt happy on receiving a goat Ayushman bhava said the brahmin The brahmin lifted the goat on his shoulders and left for his home when he was passing through the isolated path three thieves spotted the brahmin seeing the goat the first thief exclaimed what is this chubby goat doing with the brahmin the second thief replied instantaneously you are right my friend this brahmin will ruin the worth of this goat by only drinking her milk The third thief spoke with glowing eyes If we take this goat from the brahmin we can make a tasty dish out of it It has been a long time since we had a tasty meal I wish we could get this plump goat from him somehow Another thief said Let us just run away with the goat This fat brahmin can't chase us The third thief said there is no need of running away i have a brilliant idea he whispered the plan into the ears of the other two they decided to trick the brahmin in order to gain the goat for themselves while the brahmin had walked some distance one of the thieves appeared in his path and said hey ram brahmin dev Where are you going lodging this dog on your back I fail to understand why a devotee like you would carry a dog on his shoulders Hey Ram annoyed the brahmin snapped Have you no eyes can't you see it's a goat and not a dog either you are blind or totally crazy get diagnosed from a doctor don't waste my time Pardon me sir but I only say what I see with my eyes I don't understand what makes you think that it is a goat but if you feel so I shall say no more rest whatever you think the Bra- the brahmin continued on his path cursing the man for his utter foolishness the brahmin hardly walked a few more yards When the second thief stopped the brahmin and looked at him in shock Oh brahmin shame on you how can a reputed priest like you carry this dead calf on your shoulders like that Brahmins are supposed to carry holy books and holy water and not dead animals Ram 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 water time has come The brahmin lost his temper on hearing this he shouted furiously at the thief what is happening to everyone are you also as blind as the other foolish man i met a while ago this is a healthy and lively goat and you say it is a dead calf have you lost your mind the thief replied quickly i thought you were a learned brahmin but now i understand that you are a fathead who knows no difference between a dead calf and a goat the brahmin was a little puzzled now 
he began to think why people were calling his goat a dog or a dead calf he glanced at the animal to ensure that it was indeed a goat why am i seeing this as a goat again and again after a few moments the third thief appeared before the brahmin and said pardon me sir are you a real brahmin yes indeed i am can't you see my sacred thread what sort of a question is that retorted the brahmin the thief answered quickly then may i ask you how a holy man like you dares to carry a donkey on your shoulders in my whole life i have never seen a brahmin carrying a donkey have you lost all your wisdom and started the job of a shepherd if anybody notices you doing this thing then they might even stop respecting you the brahmin replied in a frightened way what are you talking about this healthy goat is appearing a donkey to you this time the force and anger was missing from the brahmin's voice the crook said cheerfully ha 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 what has happened to you brahmin dev you are calling this donkey a goat what a funny thing to say ha 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 now the brahmin was confused every person that he had met on his way saw a different animal on his shoulders the first person saw a dog the second one a dead calf and now a donkey what if this goat is a monster that is changing its form repeatedly i don't want this creature before it turns into something else it's better that i throw this goat and run away the brahmin's face turned pale at the mere thought of carrying a monster on his shoulders all this time confused and scared the brahmin threw the goat to the ground and ran home as fast as he could as soon as the brahmin disappeared all the three thieves came out of their hiding place and laughed at the stupidity of the brahmin the thieves caught the goat at once and feasted on the goat to their heart's content the moral of the story is don't change your opinion simply because others don't agree with you thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe for more interesting stories